Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it's been like forever, two months exactly. But today we're gonna do this on Set School. So, jumping right in, we are going to apply some light foundation on only one half of the face. And I'm just going to spread this out with a brush. So all of my paints here are from Mayron. I just depotted them and put them into a container that's more convenient for me. So I'm just going to take a fuchsia pink, a mixture of a dark pink and a light pink. And I'm just going to start applying this to my forehead. I am going to apply the bulk of the color to the edge of my forehead there and then just blend it out downward. And then I'm going to do the same thing on my chin except the bulk of it will be at the bottom and I'm going to blend it upwards. And now we're going to use this orange, and it's a neon orange, and this one is from Graftobian, I believe. So I'm just going to actually do the exact same thing, just following the gradients of the pink. And then I'm going to jump in with some canary yellow, which is from Mayron, and I'm going to fill in the center of my face. Okay, so you can freehand this, but I just went in with a lip liner and started to carve out the shapes that I wanted. Um, I didn't do anything too extravagant. It's just a regular shape school, very basic, very simple. So I carved out my eye, and then right here, I'm just carving out my cheek section. So you can pretty much do whatever you'd like in this section. Then I'm going to take the My Beauty Mark Academy paint pot, and this one is in yellow, and I'm going to place this all over my lid. To set the yellow, I'm going to take the NYX Cosmetics Brides palette and I'm just going to pat this on my lid because it was still a little bit sticky. And I also did go in and reapply some yellow in the yellow section just because I wanted it to be brighter. But now I'm just going to go in with the dark purple from the same palette and I'm just going to start shading in any type of hollow or wherever I think a hollow would be. Just giving this some darkness and depth definitely makes it like it's receding and not so one dimensional. So I'm going to do the same thing on the jaw portion here. I'm just going to fill in that hollow space and then start to shade. I'm just using a black eyeshadow and this one is to make up forever and I'm just applying it to the very edge of where I would want my hollows to be. So I'm applying it to the cheekbone here and then I'll also do it to the eye as well. Okay, so on to the sunset. I started by grabbing some yellow aqua color paint from Mayron and I am just going to start by creating a half circle on top of my eyebrow. Okay, and then the clouds. So this was a little bit tricky for me because I just kind of went in without practicing. So I just started to create like, I guess like a cloud shape, but then I realized that it was too opaque, like it was too much. So I right here, I then I start to kind of disperse it and like tap it in a sense. I definitely did too much on the actual cheek portion right here, which is why I go in with yellow after the fact, but I'm just kind of tapping it and I'm making these little like small cloud like shapes and then honestly you could do whatever you want in this portion you can do the clouds very very differently this is just kind of what worked out for me so you know like when you were a kid and used to draw little birds that's the shape that I used to do <laughs> or that's the shape that I did for this look and then I just went in and kind of blended it out as you can see here and then right here I kind of got my rhythm of a better skull so I just kind of started to disperse that all over my nose and it kind of looks like waves in a sense but but once it was done it looked a lot better and like I said I went in a little too hard on the white so I just took a little bit of that yellow canary paint and then I started to just kind of disperse that white a little bit just to make it a little bit more cohesive 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 and then here I'm just gonna take that white again and just start to define the clouds a little bit okay so moving on to the teeth I'm going to do the teardrop shape so I'm just going to do all of my teardrops in the squares that I had put down at the beginning. I'm going to do them right side up on top and then of course upside down at the bottom. You can pretty much do whatever teeth shape that you'd like at this point. So now I'm just going in and creating some details on the upper portion there just because I felt like I needed something. I forgot to do my nose at the beginning so I'm just shading in with some purple and then um, adding some depth with some black. Alright, so I'm just going to take the same black eyeshadow and I'm just going to create some space in between the teeth. I did overlap on the white a little bit so I wanted to add this just so I can create some separation. 
And then now to officially outline everything, I'm going to take this Mayron Aqua Color in black. I'm just going to start following the lines that I created just to make everything pop out a little bit more. Very careful on the edges and then blending it inward towards all of that shaded purple and dark purple. And then we're also going to follow the same outline on the teeth themselves. Be very careful on this portion. Try not to get onto the white too much. If you feel like your teeth are losing a little bit of opacity, Capacity, definitely go back in with the white and fill it back in and then we're gonna go in and carve out the eye as well as the nose and that pretty much concludes my sunset school for today I love it and I hope you do too again thank you guys so much for watching I know it's been a while but I'm gonna try to get back onto YouTube but until then I will see you in my next video love you ciao